Hey guys, what is up? Eric Hill here, one half of the Hill Twins, and today we're back at it again with another video. You know the vibes. We got Furida Sama on the left and Sun Goha on the right. Guys, this is game two, and uh, this game is just a little bit different from you know uh, the the previous game uh, for multiple reasons. Um, one of the things remaining the same is that Ian won the gyro. And he gets to start off with um, the the energy marker, which is very big. Um, so yeah, as you guys can see, um, Eon's going into his uh, turn three. Essentially, I had no turn one play, which was bad. I started no one drop, um, and uh, ultimately drew a one drop after summoning my knee um, my next turn. But I knew I wanted to summon my two drop to take the life because I needed to, uh, you know, I want to be able to self awaken. So Eon's here at three energy comfortably, and um, you know he's, he's he's at the position where he can summon these one drops and establish that board. As you can see, Eon did not take the hit off of my swing with my leader last turn, uh, which was my first swing, and he really understood the assignment because the name of the game for his goal is to survive as much as he can. If he has life at the end of the game. That means he's winning the game, most likely. Um, and not not just in a literal sense, but in a sense where I ha like I have to hit him. The, the longer it takes for me to hit him, the more energy he gets, and those big bombs just come out, and you just can't do anything about it. But as you guys can see, I'm not having the best of games. It's turn three, and um, I drop a Zarbon, I find a Frieza, but ultimately I'm unable to awaken at this point. I have the recruit in my hand, but I could not. You know, get the recruitment in play because of the fact that I didn't have another Fuse's army on board. And um, e either way, it would have not been as beneficial as it would have been had I had another uh, Self Awakening uh, 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 battle card in my hand, but I didn't. So, Eon goes into his turn four, and now he gets the true ramp by sacrificing the energy marker and uh, summoning this Vegeta. So, this is actually very bad for me. As you guys can see, the pace of the game is completely turned from how it was last game. Um, I have to adjust. I have to figure out a game plan. He's at seven life. I know what my goal is. As I explained in a previous video, I know that time is of the essence. Um, he was able to pacify my board with my two drop being killed by his Vegeta, and that's big. To sit at seven life, these cards are inevitably going to go to his hand because he there is no crit in my deck, um, and that's okay. But I do know that I have to start getting some type of damage. But this Vegeta on board is definitely an issue for me. And because I was unable to awaken, I said, you know what? I'm swinging at the uh, I'm swinging at the Vegeta because he's going to kill my two drops anyways. And I just don't want to hit life right at this moment. It's just not beneficial for me to do so. If I hit him for three damage and he awakens, then he's in the lead at, I mean, then I'm going to just pack my shit up, <laughs> right? He's going to flip my wig at this point, but um, I do attack into Vegeta, take some cards out of his hand because I know that he's going to defend it, but I know that my two-drop Ginyu is dead next turn anyway, so he's going to do whatever he can to pass it by my board and to stop the amount of pressure that I can do onto him. Um, and he's sitting very comfortably going into his fifth energy and just ramping the six at this point is so powerful. He has this uh, Gohan on the field now. And as you guys know, it's very hard for Yellow to deal with that Gohan. Um, you basically have to swing into it. And, uh, you know, it's not beneficial right now for me because he still is at seven life. So I have to be careful because I don't want the game to go in a direction where I'm not hitting him and now turns you know, seven, eight, I mean, it, I just get blown out of the water. Um, but as you can see here, I still didn't catch the self awakening, which was very unfortunate. And I'm gonna go ahead and rest the uh, Gohan and I'm comboing it in to my Raccoon Swing. I'm um, the Goku, sorry. And I'm comboing into my Raccoon Swing because, um, you know, I just, I'd rather take a card out of his hand. This Raccoon is just, um, the Sun Goku, rather, is just super powerful, and I have no real way of dealing with it. That's one of our biggest issues. Um, so now I'm going to this 40k, um, into this, and I'm going to go 50, and he, I believe he defends this, um, because he must. It's a very powerful card, 
right now for him and you know just being able to keep this card on board just means that I have no true way of dealing with it and as you guys can see he's going to go ahead and use that extra card which pops the energy and that's very hurtful because that is live because of the broker um, so he was able to su successfully defend it and he understands you know the, uh, he, he understands what he's going to do. He's going to set up in the game. And um, right now, he's, he's feeling good. Um, I don't have much cards in my hand. The game is much different, as you guys can see. Um, you know, I, I, I knocked the things that I needed to have in order to <clears throat> create a good um, footing into this match. And so it's so important because, you know, mulligans are so important. And that's the reason why this mulligan is so crazy. Um, because uh, pretty much... If you don't see the cards that you need against green, um, it's definitely a harder game. And Jesus Christ, as you guys can see, he summons another uh, um, Goku. And so this kind of like solidifies it for him um, for the most part. But um, we don't give up over here. Um, we're going to fight to the very end and see where it goes. Um, largely, I'm in this position because of the fact that my hand wasn't as optimal and I mean not even as optimal right because an optimal hand is like mad genius, mad raccoons and a two drop freezer but as you guys can see I haven't seen any of the cards that I needed um maybe it was just bad shuffling uh from the last game or what have you but as you can see I'm trying to make do with what it's worth I uh, am awakened finally but still I don't have you know um, enough you know Tools to be able to combat him still on the weekend. And one of the things I can say about green players is they don't care if they're on the weekend. They can swing with me, draw a card. They do not care. Because that life has to go to their hand regardless. And at this point, they're going to be able to start absolutely destroying the board and your, your, your life. So he's in the best position that he wants to be. I was able to get rid of one of the Goku's. But again, you know. It's, it's all the same. I'm comboing from hand, unfortunately. And, um, yeah, you know, he, 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 he could not defend the other, the other Goku. This is good. So I was able to defeat the board, which was good. As you can see, I finally drew that two drop on um, uh, uh, Freeza. And so now I'm going to go ahead and attack lead. And now I'm like, well, you know, usually these decks don't have self awakening, which is really good. My board is decent in terms of being able to protect myself, um, but who was about to be outed by this 8-drop, as you can see he's getting the 7, and um, it's, it's, it, I feel a little bit better, but um, it's still a very weird situation. Um, Eon's going to go ahead and swing the 1-drop into the Ginyu, and I just... I just uh, uh, protect the, the ones I've given you because essentially that 5k could be a blocker um, depending on if someone's a bigger card and um, maybe wants to deal with it or maybe wants to swing into it. I don't know, it's the Ginyu effect, man. That one drop Ginyu got everybody in the run. Like, everyone's like, you know, I just gotta get off of it. But as you guys can see, Eon drops the A drop, and um, he already understands the assignment. And this is one of the things about Green, where if you're not attacking them, or if they're unawakened, and you haven't done a great deal of pressure to them, they just kind of blow you out the water. And so Eon attacks, untaps, and he leaves it at that. And uh, he passes turn. This is very big. It's a very great strategy against Yellow, being able to attack and say, hey, listen, you're not going to lock my attacker I can get three attacks in two turns instead of two attacks in one turn and that's very big because that means that now you have the ability to um, you know have pressure in each turn now one of the things that I was looking for with the Zarbon was a one drop freeze to uh, be able to at least rest the um, a drop if I would have been able to do that then I would have been in a better position however I don't think the A drop is the reason why I lost for Barnes, but it, it still was checking me for Barnes. Um, as you guys can see, I'm, I'm playing with what little I have. I do have three super combos, but in, in, in the concourse of this game, it just doesn't matter. Um, because 
because he has this big ass 45k deal attack that will inevitably swing next to me. And uh yeah, he um he just has the means. Um one of the things I noticed was that I did awaken him. I don't think I should have awakened him yet because I realized his hand was very bad and so this gave him the firepower to come out for the next turn and that is probably the reason why I lost. Had I just left him at five, he would have not been able to lead and do damage and or you know develop the combo power he needed to um, to out combo. So that's one of the things to take note. You know, in that situation, I could summon another freeze in next turn if I survive this turn. I didn't anticipate him having another eight drop, but I definitely anticipated him having a 16, 17. That's kind of the card that spells game for me. Um, so he's gonna go ahead and flip my wig off with this um, 17, 18. And as you can see, he also got the uh, Vegeta off of life too. So he's gonna be able to start pacifying the board and just completely deny a lot of resources um, that I have available to combo out just with him being able to take care of my board. My hand is not bad, but again, you know, he just has the Riz right now. And that was very, very, very unfortunate for me. This would have, this would have happened uh, regardless, but he would have not had all of these cards to combo out. And so that's one of the things that we have to take note of. I know he had the super combo in his hand, but I gave him three extra cards to his hand for the most part. And um, as you guys can see, he's 40, uh, uh, sorry, 40, 65, 75, 85, 90 to my um, 60, my 85. So, uh, no, to my 90. Yeah, so he was 95 to my 90. 